This might be the best Adidas release of 2018. Let's take a look. What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to the Sneaker News YouTube channel. Uh, today we have a brand new sneaker unboxing here for you. Um, before we get into what's inside this very interesting shoebox, we'd like to ask you a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button under my waving finger and of course turn on your notifications by tapping that golden bell icon. You'll be first to know when we post new videos and content and all that good stuff. Are you all ready? Let's go. So this is the first of seven releases that's part of the Adidas Dragon Ball Z collection. Um, as you can see, the colorway is very inspired by Goku, the main protagonist of the entire series. And Adidas definitely got a lot of the details right. So we're gonna show you a closer look just to see exactly how uh, they got this right. So first and foremost, again, back to the colorway, you have the orange with the royal blue. That represents the uniform that Goku wears pretty much throughout the series. And of course, there's hints of yellow on the the mesh in the forefoot, and even on the, uh, the embroidery on the tongue. The blue material on the stripes, as well as on the tongue, is made of a canvas, and the, the edges are frayed too, so that kind of speaks to the whole, you know, tattered and wear and tear from, you know, battle. If we go around to the other side, you see much of the same in terms of the color blocking. You do see an orange mesh here at the ankle of the shoe, and as you can see, there's a bunch of little logos that we're gonna touch on as well. But we'll start with the heel logo. It has the Goku's Kanji logo, which means wisdom. And if you're a fan of the show, you can see this logo on his uniform pretty much throughout the series. It's usually on his back and as well as on his chest. Another logo that is pretty interesting is right here in the forefoot on the medial side. You have a Nimbus cloud embroidered in yellow, and that cloud is something that Goku rides around in throughout the series. Again, nice little touch and towards the heel and on the sole you have this Japanese phrase in white that represents a sound effect that might be common to uh, Goku as well as the Dragon Ball Z series. And on the inner part of the tongue you have a Dragon Ball, it's basically a black circular logo with a star inside. So this may suggest that this is the first of the seven releases. So just to take out even the insole, there are custom insoles with these releases. You can see the Adidas Originals Dragon Ball Z co-branded logo at the heel. Of course, all the other Dragon Balls and the, uh, the characters. So nice little touch by Adidas to kind of pay tribute to the series in the right way. And you know, the other shoe pretty much has much of the same. You have the orange and the yellow at the forefoot. You have the blue canvas. You got the Kanji logo on the heel. You got the cloud. And of course you have the same uh, Dragon Ball detail in the inner part of the tongue. So like we said, this is one of seven shoes that are releasing. The six more that are dropping is inspired by Frieza, which is a young one, and that's dropping in September. Then you have two shoes in October, that's Son Gohan's Derupt and Cell's Profier. Then you have another two in November, Vegeta's Ultratech and Majin Buu's Commanda. And the final and seventh release is the EQT support mid ADV prime knit, which represents uh, Shenron the dragon. So it's seven shoes that they're all kind of culminating with one final release in December. All these shoes will feature specific details to the character, just like this Goku pair had. They'll also have the, uh, the custom insoles, and we suspect that each of the different releases will have a different number of Dragon Ball as well. In addition to the shoes, one dope detail is the actual shoe box. Each of the shoes will come with a special edition shoe box and unique to each of the characters. So just to show you the basics, you know, there you see the same Adidas Dragon Ball Z logo on the front. Um, you have a portrait of Goku on the side with a Dragon Ball with the Adidas Originals logo. At the top of the box, you have the same Adidas Dragon Ball Z co-branded lockup. And on the side of the box, you have the character of Goku and you do see a hint of uh, Shenron. So we suspect that if you have all seven shoes and you stack them, it'll create one large image. You know, that's a fun little detail that they added to the shoe box. Also a nod to how comic books have sequential covers to create one large image. So awesome little detail. And of course we can't forget what's inside. So inside the shoe box you have just, you know, all the Dragon Balls with some lightning bolts and 
the tissue paper is, we'll just show you this half part. The tissue paper is again an iconic image from the entire Dragon Ball Z comic series. You have Goku and you have Frieza. So like we mentioned before, the Goku and the Frieza shoe will drop in September and they're sort of releasing in the same month to sort of highlight this rivalry, this ongoing battle that these two characters have. And of course we have the Adidas Dragon Ball Z logo here at the top. So they, Adidas definitely left no detail behind. If you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z, this is definitely a must cop. Now, in terms of resale, well, the model itself obviously isn't one of Adidas' most popular ones. The ZX500 is actually one of their newer models. It is an updated version of the ZX500 running shoe. It features a full length boost and some additional materials at the forefoot and the heel. And what they've changed too is that on the, the pull tab on the heel, they sort of lift it outwards. And you might see that a lot with even shoes like the Yeezy and other new models like the Commanda and even the Sobokov. So they definitely took a modern approach to updating the ZX500, which is a running shoe from decades ago. So in terms of resale, well, uh, it's kind of hard to tell at this point, but given how sought after these will be, we suspect them to be double the retail. So we'll start from there. And it's kind of hard to tell at this point. Of course, we'll do our best to update you in future unboxing videos because we will show you the rest of the Adidas Dragon Ball Z collection. In terms of fit, just like with Adidas, you got to stay true to size. So if you're a US 10, stick to a US 10. In terms of actual release dates, we do know for a fact that this pair, as well as Freeze's pair, will drop in September. All those updates can be found below in the description, so be sure to check back. So this is pretty much it. This is a detailed look at the Adidas ZX500 RM inspired by Goku of the Dragon Ball series. Again, there are six more coming after this, but you know, for now, why don't you let us know what your favorite Dragon Ball Z character is, and we'll do our best to get those unboxings for you. And of course, hit that subscribe button so you'll be first to know when we do unbox these upcoming releases. Let us know if you have any questions, and Thanks for watching.